I don't think he'll need a delousing anymore, do you? A few more steps, Mrs. Gilman. Hi, Liz. How's it going? Fine, thanks. Rob, they got to talk to you and the other new house officers yesterday. I remember. Caroline, I am so sorry to bother you, but you couldn't be a real sweetie and do that bladder wash out for me. I would, but I've two nurses off sick this morning. Sorry, um, we're out of stock. Thank you. Morning, Dr. Turner. Liz, we've already done water rounds on Dartos and Frenulum. The water rounds this morning? Turner, I'm so sorry. I don't I... worry, my dear. It's all very new. <laughs> now, who is there to see? I'm afraid, Dr. Turner, I'm supposed to be doing a bladder washout. Oh, you wouldn't mind doing that for Dr. Reed, would you, Star? Um, if we make a start with Mrs. Johnson, Dr. Turner. I'd like a full damage report as soon as possible, Mr. Scott. Julie, we'd better stop all admissions until the building's made safe. Deal with everyone you've started seeing, and we'll redirect the rest to General. This is your doing, isn't it? This scrawl. Oh, that! What is this? Patient exhibited signs of plumbum pendulans. Swinging the lead. <laughs> I know what it means, boy. Sorry, Mr. DeVries. Isn't it time you grew up? I hear you're on the GP training scheme. Two-year hospital specialties, then out into general practice. My career's on the move at last. Oh, yes. Mm. So where do you start? It's always your fault. It's always the same way I'm going to get my dummy. You're going to be up unless you teach it. Every time I go, look, look here. Got... Look here, you senile old gate. Look what you've done. What's going on? It's this senile old fool. Look what he's done. Bit the end of my finger off. Is this true? How would you like it, eh? He's always jabbing that finger in me face. Yeah, well, we might be able to soak back on. Where's the finger now? Where he can't get at it. <laughs> Doctor, would you have a look at my wife? She's taking a turn for the worse. In what way worse? Well, she's just not herself all of a sudden. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, Mr Vernon, but to me she seems no different. I'll uh, take a look at Jesse for you in a minute. Thank you. He's nursed his wife all through her illness. Now she's on her last legs, he brings everything to our attention. Why? Because he'd feel guilty if he didn't. Oh, right. Caroline, I'm having a nightmare trying to get hold of X-ray. Well, you couldn't try for me later, could you? Only Dr. Hudson wants it for the ward round this afternoon. They only take requests from doctors, I'm afraid. Look, I don't mind doing that for you. Rod, you are a lifesaver. That, that's Rob. Look, let's have the finger so we can sew it back on your friend. Now, I'll have to cut me open first. Any attempt to remove the finger without your consent would constitute a criminal assault by us. I hope it's been digested. The policeman said your friend's going to press charges. You don't want to go to prison, do you? Cooperate and they'll go easy on you, trust me. So, what do you plan to do? Induce vomiting. Mr. DeVries, if it's not here. Try again. Till he brings it up. How are you? Urea, 23.2, and cretinine, 10.50. Sore slapper, what's the verdict? Lately, it's been one infection after another. I know CAPD gives you some semblance of a normal life, but you're gonna have to come off it. Never liked the bag, anyway. Never got one to match me shoes. Claire. I don't wanna go back on hemodialysis. Please. I've asked one of the surgeons to make you a new fistula. You'll have a job. We could try the canteen. Steak and kidney pie tonight. Maybe we could scoop enough together for a transplant. Uh, um, ah, fistula man's here. I'll come back later if you like. I'll leave you to it. 
Why slap off? Good afternoon, Mr. Connell. Sorry, Dr. Hudson. Have you got the x-ray, Liz? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Hudson. I tried and I tried, but x-ray were engaged. Then go down to the department yourself. What's the sodium today? Fifty. Fifty? What? 130, Dr. Hudson. Good. Osmolality? 290. 290. Good. Oh, uh, and ESR? 5,000. 5,000. What? Yeah, all right, all right, you've had your fun. It's nice to know there's one person here who's on my side. Well, since we've become, um... Well, I was just thinking, you know, perhaps we could go out for a drink sometime this week. Oh, that'd be lovely. Right. But, just so busy. All oh, right. Right. It's Mum. Sorry, I couldn't wait any longer. Did you get the result? Well done! Listen, look, um, when Dad comes home, tell him we'll all go out to celebrate. Yes. I'll be home in about an hour or so. My daughter's been on ten hooks all week about that maths exam. How's the young man in ITU? Flat as a pancake. Um, he's got no medical history. An undiseased body. How do you think the wife will react if we ask her? I don't know. She's just a kid. Your age, you mean? <laughs> I'll come down. No, no, no. You take your daughter out. Are you sure? Yep. We all need a life outside medicine. Thank you. Uh, I'll take my mobile phone with me anyway. I'd like to be kept informed. Yes, Dr. Hudson. Good night, Claire. Night. Every woman has a tariff. There's the standing charge, which is the emotional cost of keeping her. And then there's the unit charge, which is the cost for using the facility. Take Claire. High standing charge, high unit charge. Got to the point where I couldn't afford the tariff. This is the life. <laughs> I should destroy casualty more often. Only person down there is Julie, redirecting punters to other hospitals. <laughs> I might just uh, pop down for a cup of tea. No drama in that, mate. He's not going to get better at all, is he, Doctor? No. We're going to examine Craig for signs of brain death. Are you going to switch him off? We won't unless you agree that it's the right thing to do. Doesn't mean I don't still love him if I let him die. Craig knew that you loved him. Then we should let him go, shouldn't we, Doctor? Denise, there is another thing that I must ask you. I want to ask if some of Craig's organs can be used to treat other people. There are people who are waiting for transplants who have been in and out of hospital all their lives. Young people with damaged kidneys who are at risk of infection and scarred by dialysis. Or people with cystic fibrosis. Yeah. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Thank you. Everyone said we were too young to get married. We weren't, were we, Doctor? No. Do you have a husband, Doctor? No. A boyfriend, then? No, not really. <laughs>